Peace and blessings, beautiful people. My name is Abrelia, resident herbalist, and welcome back to my channel, Beauty Herbs and Tea, where we talk about all things tea, herbs, and resources to help you start your herbal business right now. I do want to make a general public service announcement, and that is that, you all, I am having a huge, huge, huge Black Friday sale. Hopefully this goes up before Black Friday. Hopefully I can edit it in time because a girl is doing a lot. <laughs> but I am having a huge Black Friday sale on all of my courses, all of my consultations, all of my teas, all of my wellness services. I am offering Offering you up to 30% off of everything okay and this is the last sale that I am doing on any of my products I will not be doing any more sales ever <laughs> just because my stuff my courses are priced so low that you really truly are getting a value from it both my mastering tea blending and formulation course and my herbal business assistant course is available to enroll right now you can enroll right Right now and get instant access to everything you can start learning today I will no longer be doing live classes in the business course after December so if you want to get a chance to ask me questions definitely sign up for the business course today so today I thought it would be cool to bring you all into a day in a life and see what it is like for me to create a custom tea blend for my wellness clients and my business clients for those of you who do not know I am an herbalist I've been practicing herbalism for a little over for 10 years now and I am a tea expert a tea sommelier I am an expert on all things plants taste phytonutrients what herbs work well together and what herbs don't work well together so that I can make you a delicious medicinal blend that works for you and your wellness issues so right now I have about seven active business clients and I am making custom wellness tea blends for their business so I'm coming up with the whole recipe the herbs I'm giving their herbal education and everything and then I also have three actual wellness clients three individual or personal wellness clients and I am developing their blend so that equals out to about 10 a month that's all I can handle <laughs> right now with everything else going on I also create tea blends for major companies so I have a couple of clients a couple of accounts where I am creating actual tea blends for legit businesses out there that you all know no. So yes, I am going to bring you into what it is like developing my custom tea blend and you get to learn a little bit of the method to my madness. Okay, welcome to my tea blending laboratory, which is aka my kitchen. <laughs> so you all are going to see me actually blend and formulate a medicinal tea for a client. And this tea I'm going to formulate is, we're going to call it a Clara tea. This tea is supposed to be for your mental to clear out your mind, help you think better, help the brain fog, help everything with the nervous system. So at this point, I have already spoke to the client. We've had a consultation. We have came up with the herbs and the flavors of choice. And I, in my mind, already have an idea of what I want the recipe to be, but of course I have to blend it and I have to taste it. I taste everything, y'all. So the first thing that you want to do when developing a custom blend is make sure, make sure that you taste every single herb individually before you go and start blending teas together if you don't know how herb tastes do not put it in your blend so you want to taste your herbs we're going to call them herbal simples herbal simples means by themselves before you start blending together okay so i generally have an idea of all the herbs that i use i have an idea of what they taste however or how they taste however if i forgot i would make a tea of a simple just to refresh my memory but these are the herbs that we're going to be using so we're going to be using gosu cola holy basil ginger ginkgo and mint where's the mint <laughs> it's not over here but we're also using peppermint and so i have a couple of my tea mugs that i'm going to be used to taste and then i have some of my kettles going right now i actually have a tea blend that is cooking for personal use 
<laughs> over here i'm making me a detox chai my famous detox chai well i don't know if anybody knows about it but it's famous to me it's really delicious <laughs> <laughs> I've been feeling the need to detox. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to pretty much come up with a formula. So I write everything down. So another example or another suggestion is to write everything down. So you want to write as you go because you may forget how much of something you put. And so if you have or if you're curious about how to blend the teas and how to come up with the actual formula i will help you out with that but right now again i pretty much have an idea of the formula so what i'm going to do is kind of come up with the formula in my mind i have made a similar tea before so i have an idea of what the recipe is or what i want the recipe to be so i pretty much have done all the hard part <laughs> but for the sake of showing you all how i actually make it pretty much what i do is i look for the primary action so in my tea course i teach you the exact method on how to blend your teas and how to put the herbs together so again I already have a rough idea of what I want or the amount of herbs each herbs I want in this actual blend so I believe I'm going to put a little bit more gotsu cola and ginkgo not so much holy basil and a little bit of mint and ginger those would be the least amount of herbs that I put in my actual blend I may put more mint in this blend to overpower the holy basil because these type of holy basil I am using is a strong more potent holy basil so this is why it's important to be familiar with the actual taste and the flavor profile that's why you want to taste all of these herbs first before coming up with the recipe because you want to know how each and every single herb tastes. You wouldn't be able to make a custom tea blend if you didn't know how these herbs taste. So I'm going to go ahead and mix the herbs and I'm going to try out my recipe. For the sake of privacy reason, I will not be showing you the recipe on the screen because this is for a client. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and mix it again. I have an idea what the recipe is and I'm going to sample out that recipe. Generally, I get it right on the first time, sometimes I don't. <laughs> So we're going to hope that this is one of those times that I get it right and we're going to go ahead and put this tea blend together and test it out. Okay, so I went ahead and mixed the teas off camera again because this is a client blend. I want to protect their actual recipe. So the challenge of this blend is going to be this holy basil right here holy basil is an amazing amazing herb however it's a little strong <laughs> it's a little strong it has a strong basil -y taste so i didn't want the holy basil to overpower this blend so the challenge is adding enough holy basil in order for the blend to do what it's supposed to do but not too much for it to be overpowering in this blend so i might have to add more mint to balance out some of that basil -y flavor we wouldn't add more ginger because ginger is a potent herb and it's gonna make it spicy we don't want an overpowering spicy blend so again i already made the recipe we already mixed it in here and my water is boiling well it was boiling <laughs> Let me boil it, turn it on, it wasn't turned on. My water is boiling and just about ready and now we're going to try our tea blend. And typically when I try the tea blend, I try, I use about one tablespoon to sample it. My dosaging is a little bit higher than the recommended dosage of one or two teaspoons because remember if you have 15 billion herbs in your blend and you only suggest one teaspoon of you know your tea blend they're not going to get enough of these herbs so I always recommend at least one tablespoon if you're using more than you know than two or three herbs so I will try a tablespoon of this y'all hear <laughs> my little old faithful whistling a tea kettle in the background I swear this tea kettle is you know it's been through a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's been through a lot but don't nobody whistle like she do don't nobody whistle like she do i love this cattle i've had her for years and she has a lot of you know <laughs> battle wounds on her but i love her i love her i'm not gonna get rid of her i have like literally 
five kettles, but I have not used it because this is my ride or die whistler right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the tea blend off camera and see if it works again. 80% of the time, let's turn off my whistler. 80% of the time, I get it right. 85 to 90%. Sometimes I gotta go back to the plate and remix the tea blend. So let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Now we're going to taste the tea blend that we have formulated. Again, generally, I get it right on the first try. <laughs> About 85% of the time, I actually get it right on the first try. Sometimes it does take me a day, a week, you know, even to actually get these tea blends together. And that's why I charge what I do because I sometimes will be tasting tea all day, every day. So to get the right flavor profile and the right flavor combination. So let's go ahead and try our creation. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it is what we want it to be. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love that. <laughs> this is amazing. So right off the back, I am getting the peppermint. I taste that hint of ginger. It's giving a cooling sensation and that cooling is coming from that mint. And it's doing a little tingly thing on my tongue. <laughs> it's giving it a little tingle. It's not much of an astringent feel, but more of an accurate kind of feel to it. Again, I know I'm using terms, you're like, what is accurate? That is an herbalism term where something, a herb that you taste, it you can feel it working so it gives you a tingling or numbing sensation and somehow in this tea it is giving that accurate kind of feel in my mouth and I actually quite love it I love what it is doing and I can taste the holy basil but not too much the holy basil is subtle and the other herbs are smooth okay so the next blend we're going to make is going to be a coffee replacement blend it's actually an herbal coffee replacement blend so in this blend we're going to have chicory root dandelion root reishi ashwagandha licorice root and cacao if you are familiar with any of these herbs then you would know that this chicory root right here is what is going to give it that coffee taste as well as the roasted dandelion root that's going to give it the coffee taste that everybody loves now i'm not a fan of coffee i don't drink coffee <laughs> i don't like the bitter taste but it surprises me that people actually like the taste of coffee it's quite interesting <laughs> so for this blend, I already know the flavor profile of all of these herbs. However, sometimes what I like to do is refresh my palate and again, taste the herbs as herbal simples. If you have never had chicory root before, make sure you try it before blending it because it's quite strong as well as reishi reishi is a medicinal mushroom and it is pretty bitter and so the most bitter herbs in this blend is going to be chicory root and that reishi ashwagandha is a little bitter but it's not on a chicory or a reishi level so i'm going to refresh my palate before i blend this teas with the bitter herbs in this tea again to just prepare my palate for what what I'm going to experience. So in here I have reishi over here and then I have the chicory root over here. I'm going to go ahead and give those a little taste again to refresh my palate before blending so I know what I want when I go into making this blend. So pretty much this blend will taste like coffee. <laughs> it will be a bitter blend. And we're looking for a bitter sweet blend with a hint of chocolate and a hint of sweetness as well. And I believe I'm supposed to have cinnamon in here too, so I think I'm missing the herb. <laughs> but that's what we're going to go for with these blends or with this blend. Alrighty y'all, so I have the chicory root in here. It's still popping hot, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> the steam coming up off of it. This is actually a mug I got from Belize. Yes, I'm back from Belize and Belize was amazing. I like to collect mugs wherever I go. That's like a thing that I do. It's a souvenir. If you want to go somewhere and you want to get me a souvenir, get me an actual mug, a tea or coffee mug. That is my jam. So let's go ahead again. I've already tried this herb out. I'm just tasting it again to refresh my palate so that I know exactly what flavors I want to look for when I go into this blend. I know how it tastes, but again, it's a refresher. So let's go ahead and taste it. 
that's bitter <laughs> that is bitter oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did not forget how that tastes. So again, if you've never tried chicory root, it actually tastes like coffee. Like there's no way around it. It has that bitter, strong taste of coffee. Kind of hits you after you swallow it. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so with chicory root, if you're ever using chicory root, you don't need a lot. Literally one teaspoon, one teaspoon would do its job. So think of coffee. The more of this chicory root that you use, the stronger it's going to be just like coffee so I'm going to finish drinking this because I don't waste no tea y'all <laughs> so when I taste tea I pretty much like to taste it for the experience what is this tea doing to my body as I drink it is it warming is it cooling is it tingling on my tongue all those things I like to pretty much look for when I drink this tea if you're like what is that what's warming and cooling and astringent those are all concepts that I do teach you in my mastering tea blending and formulation course actually everything that I am doing today as far as blending and formulating I teach you the exact method in my mastering tea blending and formulation course Hopefully you got a chance, you got a realistic understanding of what it is like to make a custom wellness tea blend for my clients. I brought you into my, my madness, shall I say. <laughs> you learn how I actually formulate. And like I mentioned before, everything that I am doing, I teach you how to do in my mastering tea blending and formulation course. I teach you how to become a master at blending medicinal teas and putting medicinal teas together. I teach you the herbalist method on how to blend teas, how to come up with the actual recipe and the actual measurements, as well as how to make teas. There is an actual science behind it. So if you are interested in my mastering tea blending and formulation course or any other courses in my tea business school, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. Remember, it is on Black Friday sale. So if you want to get the discount, get it now because this discount will be gone. And once it is gone, it is gone. And as always check out my tea business school for any other courses in my school I do have another course coming out I'm actually going to head over after I finish with this tea I'm going to head over and do some promotional shots <laughs> some promotional pictures for my third course that is coming out hence why we are glam okay <laughs> and before I go don't forget to thumbs up this video so my subscriber count has dipped a little bit and so we need to push it back up and get this video Video out there to other people so that they can see it so please 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 thumbs up this video if you love this video so happy holidays to everybody and as always stay safe stay healthy and stay blessed and I'll see everybody in the next video bye